Good morning. It's 9 a.m. here in Los Angeles. A brisk 65-ish degree outside. And I am at Fanda Dong Chan. And this place was and will one day again be an all-you-can-eat Mexican breakfast buffet. I wish I was here during the uh during its buffet glory days. Of course, right now with the pandemic, the buffet is shut down, but people still tell me this is the must try Mexican restaurant in this area. So I started off with a couple of dishes, but I'm just gonna do some research, see what else is good. Let's come on, two, two dishes for breakfast? I eat that before I even wake up. If the chips and dip is any indication of how good my food is gonna be, I am in for a treat. The salsa is so flavorful and spicy. Mm. Slightly sweet and sour tomatoes, cilantro, and then kept the seeds in here for that extra kick of spice. They definitely made the salsa here, and it is amazing. I told you guys, um, back when I really didn't have any money, I love going to Mexican restaurants because of basically all you can eat chips and salsa, and I would just kind of load up. Um, chips and salsa. Look at my friend. Oh my gosh! Tortilla. Wow! What kind of tortilla? What kind of tortilla? Like? Flour tortilla? Corn, corn is coming. Corn is coming. That's fine too. On a brisk, chilly day here in Los Angeles, this is what you need in front of you. You don't need a jacket, you don't need gloves, you don't need a heater, you need this big stone heated up with cheese inside. This is the queso fundido. This is uh, Jalisco style cheese fondue with homemade tomatillo sauce. Oh, oh, oh. We chorizo and look at this one. Oh, look at this. Wow. Enjoy. You guys put a lot of food in these plates. This might be the greatest thing I I've seen in LA right here. They brought over some tortilla. This is what you're supposed to eat it with. Corn tortilla. And what's great is that the cheese is touching the burning stone. And you see that? I'm getting a little cheese char right there. I don't even know how to how this will work. Oh my gosh. Come on down, baby. Come on down. Wrap it up. Also, the food came so quickly. I've been sitting here for about less than 10 minutes. The food's already here. If this is not heaven, I don't know what is. The only thing I can make this day better if it starts thunderstorming right now while I'm sitting here. Just to add to the aesthetics of this glorious bite. Mm. Just imagine the cheesiest bite with all that great spices inside the cheese with little bits of kitchen chorizo all on a fresh tortilla. These are the moments where you feel like life really can't, really can't get better than this until you bring out the second plate that has brought me. This is the chilaquiles. Last time I had this was in Mexico and this came with a steak over easy eggs. This is the chilaquiles right here. Some sour cream, some beans, tomatoes, and potatoes and let the egg flow. Mix it in with the chilaquiles. This can't be real. I feel like I'm at any moment I'm gonna wake up with my pillowcase inside my mouth because I can't believe how good all this is. Wow. Oh, the potatoes are so tender and flavorful. The steak, dunk it in some eggs. Dunk it in some cheese, cause why the heck not? Oh, this steak is so tender. This is some of the best Mexican food I've had outside of Mexico. You won't believe how tender that is. I love everything about this place. The people are so nice. Again, how could it be this good? I want to eat here for breakfast every single day, and I, I'm going to count down the days till their buffet opens. I'll be the first through that door. I mean, this is a buffet where if I hear it's open, even if I'm sitting in the Bacchanal in Vegas, I'm dropping my fork and driving over here. I mean, seriously, you guys watching this, it's just not one of the most incredible Mexican restaurants you've witnessed in the land of YouTube. 
I want to give a shout out to the chilaquiles. Still so crispy, soaked in all this delicious spicy sauce. Of course, you add some cheese on top of that and some chorizo. I'm so glad I really don't have a lot of stuff planned for today. Like today's gonna be one of those days where I'm publishing a video later, so I'm just gonna go home, look at the video. This is my breakfast slash lunch. Just a warning, after you come to this place, you won't be able to and you really don't won't want to accomplish anything for the rest of the day. Like you just want to go home and just lounge. And I am 100% fully ready to do that. It's about 4 p.m. I went home and just crashed hard after that cheese-filled breakfast. And again, the reason I love staying in San Gabriel is this, this whole street has just so many restaurants. And this place I'm at, I, this is like three blocks from my hotel, DX Lab. I was talking to the owner, seems to be a pretty cool spicy noodle place. And before we get this meal started, a huge shout out and thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and of course, continuing to support my channel. I've been talking about the benefits of VPN for a long, long time now. If you guys don't have VPN, you should really consider getting a VPN service like Surfshark because as the world is opening you up more, you're traveling more, you're connected to all these random Wi-Fi hotspots. These are all really good opportunities for people to access your personal information. If you don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal data before it goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your personal information, they won't have access to it. And people taking your personal information happens a lot. You know, if you're planning a trip, you're searching a hotel, all of a sudden ads for travel sites, hotel sites start popping up everywhere. This happens really often and is really creepy. So you really need your personal data protected. Also, Surfshark has hack clock ID. So if someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna be notified right away. Also on the entertainment side, this is really important. You can use Surfshark VPN to kind of, to kind of trick Netflix into thinking that you're actually in other countries so you can have access to other countries' movies and shows. If you don't know, Netflix is actually different country by country. So once you finish all the shows in the US, go watch South Korea's. Anyways, if you want to give Surfshark a try, go to the link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chan. You're going to get 83% off your order and three additional months for free. And you can try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. Oh, this actually looks very promising. So two noodles. This is what they recommended for me. This is the beef jiajiang noodle, and here they got hong shao rou. So this is the soy sauce marinated chunks of beef. Okay, ooh, this is tender. A lot of chilies, minced meat as well. This is not a huge bowl of noodles, and they call this a jiajiang mian. So jiajiang mian is typically something made with fermented bean paste. I don't think this is really jiajiang mian. This is more like a dry beef noodles. And then I got hongyo chao shou, which is the, uh, of course, the chili oil wontons. This looks really good. So these wrappers seem very, very thin. Sauce is nice and thick. A lot of garlic, a lot of chilies. This is not bad. Some pieces are really, really tender. Some piece got a tiny bit more chew, but I really like the spicy sauce covering these noodles. I think there's a bit of peanut sauce for sesame sauce that kind of thickens everything up. The thing that makes this stand out is the abundance of garlic. There is a lot of garlic in here. And to me, that is beautiful. Even though they added tons of chilies in here, it's not all that spicy, so don't really be afraid or intimidated by the look of this, even though it's glowing red. Not that spicy. Wontons I really like. I think I like these more than the noodles. Like I said, super thin skin. Big chunk of meaty wontons. Big chunk of filling. Of course, covered in chili oils and garlic and cilantro. Yeah, this is great. Mmm. There's also a hint of vinegar in the sauce. The wrapper, the filling, the sauce, all fantastic. This really isn't bad. Noodles are nice and al dente. Meat is good, sauce is good. Pretty good place. I come back here and try some more stuff, but whatever you do, get the wontons. So basically I have two full days left here in Los Angeles today and tomorrow. I'm really just gonna take it easy. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Koreatown, I heard about this amazing Korean Hawaiian place I gotta try out. I'm gonna just take it easy eat whatever I want to eat. So dinner tonight, really just this. And then maybe go get a dessert or more tea, hit the gym, 
a lot. Like I said, I'm in LA not just to film, but also conduct some business, have some meetings. And then Monday, heading over to Vegas because I hear it's open buffet season. So we're gonna go over there and see like what the difference is between buffets now and before they close. It's really just an excuse to eat more buffets. Well, that's never good. Two hour parking, except for Sundays. I think I'm good. No idea where I am though. So apparently right now I am in the fashion district and breakfast is gonna be Korean Hawaiian food. This is it, this place is uh, takeout delivery only. It's called Broken Mouth which was coincidentally my nickname in high school. Brains to potatoes, sweets, drinks, beef, chicken. No idea what's good. Popularity as far as our guests normally do. So the shrimp is the most ordered. Uh, the shrimp? But the beef is a very close second, so. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Kahuku style shrimp? Yeah, there's only one shrimp, yeah. Okay, let's do that. I'll, I'll do the beef too. Okay. I'll do the chicken sandwich. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, any avocado in that? Yeah, please, thank you. And right around the corner from this place, look at this. I smell something really good coming from here. I think we need some kebabs. Wow. What's cool about this place is that they're actually cooking everything fresh. So it's not like you're coming in, there's 20 skewers already laid out, drying up on the side. Fresh meat just went on the grill. Got my food. Now the difficult thing is to try to find a place where I can actually sit down and eat. And really around LA, there's only one place I know of that I keep going back to. So hopefully it won't be too packed. I love coming and sitting here. Uh, there's a bunch of food around here. Uh, there's a great matcha tea place. You can get some drinks. So hummus, garlic sauce, Ooh, hello, baby. I like to start with this because uh, it's my first meal of the day. Usually I like to eat that relatively quietly. And that's why I want to start with a shush kebab. Shush, shush. Sorry, that was, that was a terrible joke. And also I'm, I'm not a quiet eater, so. Wait, what is this? I never seen something like that in a to-go box before. This is like rice seasoning maybe? Apologize for my ignorance. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on the meat. Look at this roasted tomato. Wow. All right, flavor of the chicken is absolutely amazing. It's a tad dry, like I was kind of afraid it was gonna be, and that's like my fear every time I order chicken. And also it's been about 20 minutes since this thing came off the grill. I wish I was able to try this as soon as I got it because the flavor is incredible. Mmm, it's citrusy, it's aromatic. Then you pair that up with this delicious rice. Same thing with the beef. The flavor is so good. Just a tad dry because it's been off the grill for too long. Texture aside, just spacing it off flavor. Delicious. I'll have to go back to this place and try it, like eating it there. Got some hummus. All oh, this hummus is good. It's gonna dip us. <laughs> my pita inside this roasted tomato. I made it even better. Hundred percent. You must get the hummus when you come here. Overall. Delicious place. Just don't make the same mistake I did and wait like 20 minutes before eating your meat. Next up, this Korean Hawaiian food. I pretty much got a little bit of everything. Might have been a little too much. It's all right. I'm just gonna slowly eat this throughout the day. Start with the shrimp. And uh, he told me to just eat this whole thing with the peel on. That is so delicious. Oh, the rice is so delicious too. A sticky pepper rice with seasoning on top. It's a little bit sweet. So fragrant and flavorful. If you never had like garlic butter shrimp in Hawaii, come and try this out. Mm. 
a little lemon juice on that. That just made me miss the island. Oh, <laughs> so good. 100%. Good to shrimp when you come here. And this, ah, oh, cucumber kimchi and carrots and raspberries. Just the most perfect side items. And this thing, I don't even know how to pick this up. Wow. This is probably a pound and a half chicken sandwich. Two patties inside. Looks like lettuce on the bottom, some carrots on top, sesame on the chicken itself. Bun is perfectly toasted. This is another one of those sandwiches where unhinging your jaw would be like a prerequisite skill set you need before even attempting this. Oh, I love this so much. First of all, I love the fact that I didn't even make a dent in this. This is nothing. And it's falling apart, right? Oh, there's avocado on here as well and cranberries. So the cranberry carrot that you see on the side is inside this burger as well. And it's barely holding together. I might need a little support from the plate. Such a marvelous chicken sandwich. It's just the amount of different flavors in here. You got the crunch from the carrots. The chicken itself is so tender and juicy. You got the gochujang. I think there's some buffalo sauce in here as well. Let me see what this is all about. Sweet potato with sesame. Oh, this is good too. Hard to believe, but I think I know how to make this even better. Some hummus onto the chicken sandwich. Cross that cultural divide. <laughs> I'm just gonna chopstick this whole entire- Oh! I think my chopstick skills have improved. That might have been one of the greatest bites of a chicken sandwich I've ever taken. Seriously. I will put this on the must-try list. This chicken sandwich is out of this world. They did throw in a spam masubi for me, which I really do appreciate because usually when you get spammed, it, it's nothing like this. Oh, so this is highly recommend getting the masubi. Again, it's made with the Korean purple rice and they put a layer of sesame seaweed in between the spam and the rice, making this thing extra fragrant on top of its already fragrant flavor. The spam is a little sweet, nice and smoky. Mm. I just dunked some of this stuff into the nice juice that came with the cucumber to give it some acid to kind of balance the flavor of the spam out. Oh yeah, everything from this place though, the shrimp, and 100% that chicken sandwich. Also, I about finished half of everything I got today already. Still feel pretty good. I discovered why this place is called Broken Mouth. You kind of really have to just, just break your mouth. Worth it though. I am serious about the quiet food time. After, camera go off. I just like to sit here quietly, finish up the food. Relax. I'm gonna go get some matcha tea once that place opens. This is how I like to enjoy the day. way to Las Vegas early in the morning and I always count on a good bomby place to be open early. Hmm. Those are really good noodles. Hmm. And so my schedule in the next week is going to be kind of sporadic. But I head to Vegas. I'm going to film about a week over there. And then I'm going to spend a few days in Sedona, my favorite place in the country for a few days, just to relax a little bit. Then it's back to Vegas and then back to LA for a few days just to wrap up my filming on the West Coast before heading back to Texas. It's always kind of sad to leave the 626. It's kind of like leaving your food home away from home, if that makes any sense at all. Got a noodle and a bami. Trying to decide between them, but then I realize <laughs> That's like the worst thing to ever decide between. Just get them both. Real pork bami, my favorite. Also, every day when you wake up in Los Angeles, the day kind of just looks like this. It looks like it's gonna storm even because it's windy and cloudy. It never does. It just becomes really hot and sunny. It's like a 
grainy cheese every single morning. Mm, I really like this place. Thank goodness it's open at like seven o'clock in the morning. Look guys, uh, when I misspoke or when I make a mistake, I'm gonna own up to it. Here, it's raining right now. What? I feel so honored because it rains in LA, what, like four days a year? And I'm here during one of them? <laughs> this is just so unexpected. I'm about an hour away from Vegas, and right about now, I just feel the excitement. My blood starts just tingling. Already trying to figure out what I want to eat tonight. I think it's gonna be some sort of barbecue. And I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, this car. So this rental car I got, it's a, it's a Ford Fusion. And it, you know, it's not a really exciting car. It's not flashy, it's not super quick. But what it is, it's like a camel. I've had this thing for over a week. I've only gassed it up. Well, I just gassed it up. That was the second time I've ever put gas in this car. And every day I'm driving in Los Angeles, minimum two to three hours. And every time I filled it up, it still has a quarter of a tank left. This is an amazingly economical car. Anyway, not sponsored, just really impressed. Clean stay. Yes. This is why I'm at this hotel. View is not too shabby either. So this is the Hilton Grand Vacation Hotel. It's actually one of my favorite hotels in Las Vegas. Nothing too flashy about this place. Just really big rooms is inexpensive usually. I discovered this hotel when I first came here um, with really no money. And this place used to cost, I think you can find it for about $60 a night. And they have a washer and dryer, which is just the most amazing thing. Cause you're not gonna find a lot of hotels in Vegas that has that for such a cheap price shower, huge bathrooms, uh, a tub that I'll never use, but bed. And if you need to, I pulled out Queen's bed here as well. So a really good deal of a hotel. Again, nothing flashy. It's not on a strip, which I like. There's no casino, which I also like, which means there's no resort fee. Probably this is not an advertisement for Hilton Grand Vacation, but yeah, it's a nice place. All right, cleaning time. And then I found a good place for dinner. So there's actually a couple of places I wanted to go to in this little plaza here. One was the curry, the Japanese curry. Walked in, full of people. This is the other place I wanted to go to. This is a Japanese Italian place. I'm a big fan of Japanese Italian foods. One of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life, Tokyo. The salad dressing is incredible. There's some kind of wasabi dressing that has such a nice cook. Creamy, flavorful, and it kicks you like right here. This might be the best dressing I've ever had. Is that dressing from a bottle or you guys make that? We, we hand make the uh, You make it, you make the dressing. Make, right? That's yeah. incredible. Good, thank you, thank you. You sell it by the bottle? <laughs> no, we've never had that. Oh, that yeah. sucks, that's great. Right, thank you. Yeah, I'll eat broccoli with that dressing. This is my appetizer, grilled beef tongue. This thing smells pretty incredible. Mm. That's awesome. Smoky, peppery, tender pieces of tongue. Oh, so good. Now this place is starting to fill up. My goal is to finish eating in the next 15 minutes and feel like I need to get out of here. That place filled up fast. Just so much nicer to be outside and I can talk louder. I don't have to whisper. It's kind of an intimate place in there too. It's a beautiful place, but I'm just so used to eating on my hood now. I got the Wagyu Hamburg steak. Whoa, ha, ha. look how, oh, whoa, 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 what is this? This was never said to be part of the deal. This is the Wagyu Hamburg steak. Ooh, covered in cheese. Let's see. Wow, this looks so good. This thing is just oozing out juice right now. That's crazy. I mean, this thing doesn't look waterproof, so how the heck does it have so much juice in there? Look at this. I and mean, this whole thing is just so delicious. Mmm. Incredibly tender. Tons of fat adding to the delicious flavor of the steak. 
Wow. It breaks apart first, and then it melts in your mouth. This is their garlic bread, which looks awesome as well. Oh! <laughs> and I gotta hold on to this container because the steak may look thick and dense, but when you take a bite, you discover it's actually super light. Mushroom might be the best part. Use this like a little spoon. Scoop up some of that great sauce with this little mushroom cup. This fusion of a delicious Hamburg steak with Wagyu is an absolute home run. I'm definitely gonna come back and try some of their other dishes. Let's go see about that curry. Was waiting for this order of curry. Still in my head. Can't stop thinking about that steak, I just ate. So memorable. So this is the most popular curry they have. It's a chicken cutlet with rice and spinach and in terms of spicy i just told him i wanted it pretty spicy so i don't actually know what they put in here but hopefully it's pretty spicy i gotta tell you though this looks and smells incredible already i don't know what this spinach thing is but let's eat it with some rice and see that is so good yeah this is spicy this will light you up. This will pretty much force you to go get ice cream after. Spinach is delicious. It tastes like almost like a curry cream of spinach. So the chicken cutlet. Incredible. Amazingly tender and juicy pieces of chicken in just this airiest, fluffiest, crispiest outer shell. Of course, covered in this spicy curry. I should have changed my mind. I think maybe double the spice of this will be perfect. This is still spicy, but with the rice and everything else, I could do spicier. The chicken is just marvelous. Usually chicken cutlet is not this juicy and tender. This curry place is delicious. 100% worth checking out, especially this, this curry with the spinach. So ingenious. Definitely different than a lot of the curry places I went to before. All right, I gotta use two hands to make sure this doesn't fly away from me. Flying curry, unless you're talking about the basketball player, Never a good thing. Also, to give you guys an idea of my surroundings, I'm literally in this giant parking lot and then every single spot is, is full. And I'm just sitting here on my hood with people pulling in left and right, just stuffing my face with curry. If you want to see what a typical day in my life looks like, this is pretty much it. I don't actually get to play video games all that much. Maybe I'll play once a week. Every time I play, maybe I'll play for like an hour or two. I feel like the most I can accomplish in this game is just find some hay for my horses. I think even if I spend like 30 hours in this game, I'll, you know, get to a point where I get a new gun. This thing takes a while. The most I've ever accomplished video game wise was the time I actually spent in quarantine when I couldn't really do anything else. That's why I honestly don't really mind quarantine. Anyway, this should be a really fun food week in Vegas. I found a bunch of buffets. There's a sushi buffet, there's a Mexican buffet. It's gonna be a fun week and as always guys, Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.